Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so guys, I'm back in Japan in my room. I missed you, Baymax. If you've been following me, you would know that I went to California, San Francisco, and now I'm back in Japan. It's great to have like all these art supplies again. So today, I'm going to make some stickers. You know me, I love making stickers. But today, I'm not going to make like normal stickers. Today, I want to go like big. I don't know, like this big? There's so many ways to make some original stickers at home, and I want to see how big I can go. We'll see. Today, I'm going to show you how to make stickers the cheap way, the fun way, and the expensive way. Oh, it's gonna be a fun video. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Making big stickers at home. Let's get started. Okay, so before I start making stickers, I need a design. So what to draw? I think I'm going to draw these two girls that I've been wanting to draw for a very long time. They've been in my sketchbook for a while. So as always, I'm going to use Ibis paint. And ta-da! Yes, I already have a rough draft. And this is like a girl sitting on the moon, probably 20% inspired by Sailor Moon. So Ibis paint is free. But there's also a lot of other apps that you could use like Procreate. I just use Ibis paint a lot. Okay, so let's get started. I originally wanted to make her dress white, but I ended up making it baby pink. The thing is, when you print it out and make it into like a transparent sticker, the white part is going to turn all transparent. It's going to make the sticker look very odd, so I tried to make it as colorful as I could. After I was done, I still felt like something was missing, so at the very end, I decided to add like a pet bunny. A flying bunny, kind of like Nyan Cat, but a bunny. And I think that made the drawing come all together. By the way, this girl does not have a name yet, and the bunny as well. So if you guys have any suggestions, please comment below. I always use your suggestion for my character's name, so it will help me out a lot. And this is how it turned out. I ended up changing a lot of small details, like adding a small bunny, and I think it turned out extra cute. So this is my first drawing, and there's actually another drawing that I want to draw. So next up, I want to draw this mermaid. So she's actually been in my videos before. She was the girl that I drew in my resin drawing. And I thought it would be really fun to draw her again. Again, she does not have a name. So if you guys have any suggestions, please comment below. Okay, and let's start drawing. So this is a girl with her pet jellyfish. I still remember when I was thinking of what to draw for my resin drawing, I was tired so I went to sleep and this girl popped up in my dreams. Like I specifically remember her short wavy hair. She also has this upside down heart in her bangs which I think makes her extra special. After I was done drawing, I felt like I needed like a little more oomph and I ended up changing her line art into dark blue slash purple. I really recommend changing the color of your line art if you want to play around because it really changes the mood of the drawing. Now that I have the drawings ready, let's turn them into stickers. So I am done drawing and I went to the convenience store to print them out. And they look something like this. What do you guys think? I think they turned out really, really cute. By the way, when I first print them out, they turned out a little bit too sheer. So be careful to adjust the settings so they come out vibrant. And we're going to be using this. Oh. They're so cute. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you how to make stickers the cheap way. And this is a technique that I've used before. So before I go big, I want to start small. So first, I'm going to carefully cut around the drawing. So here's one. And here's two. So the easiest way is to get a tape. It could be any kind of clear tape. So sometimes when you're pulling on the tape, it makes these lines. So I'm going to try to avoid those lines. I'm going to get some tape tape down. It's like white and transparent so it might be a little bit hard to see. And then I'm going to get some more tape and tape it on top. I'm just going to place this on top of the tape. And now I'm just going to cut around the design along with the cooking sheet. 
And there we have it. So this literally takes like a minute. And you could just like peel it off and stick it on somewhere. The next way is to get double-sided tape. And this was like the biggest double-sided tape I was able to find. If you want to go big, you just need to find a bigger one. But this tape is actually pretty big. So I'm just going to cut out a design. And I'm just going to tape it on. So I'm just going to flip it over and carefully tape it on the back. And I want to make sure I got the whole design. Oh, that was kind of close. And I'm just going to cut around the design. I wonder if there's like bigger double-sided tape. And that's it guys. So now we can just like peel it and stick it on somewhere. But yeah, it's super easy. So for this method, you need to print it out using a laser printer. I don't have a laser printer, so I went to the convenience store to print it out. So just a tip, it will not work with an inkjet printer, but this is really fun. So again, you're just going to get some normal tape. <gasps> I don't think it fits. Let me try with a smaller size. So again, I'm going to stick on the design onto this tape. Like so. And let me just like cut off the excess. Okay, it does not have to be perfect. And I'm just gonna like rub it on. And then I'm gonna get some water. And this is the fun part. So now we're just gonna put this inside the water. Oh look, it's floating. <laughs> it looks like it's kind of swimming. I'm going to wait for a few seconds for it to kind of soak in. Looking good. And now I'm just gonna like gently rub the paper off. Just really, really lightly. And believe it or not, the design stays on the tape. And it's so pretty. You don't want to put too much force. You don't need to hurry. You will ruin the design if you rub it too hard. <gasps> it's so pretty. You want to get the paper off completely so it won't leave like a white residue. And that's literally it, guys. And here we have a transparent sticker. All you need to do is put it aside for it to kind of dry up. And once it's dry, it becomes tacky again. So I'm just gonna put this aside. Okay, and now I wanna see if I could go big. So here I have a huge bucket of water. Let's see if it works out. So let me put this aside. And I'm going to be using this huge roll of transparent sheet. This was like the biggest one that I was able to find. Let me put it out. I really hope this works, guys. And I'm going to carefully place this on top. I'm nervous. And there we go. <gasps> okay, so you don't want any bubbles, so you wanna like rub it on real nice. Just like rub it on real nice. Let me roll up my sleeves. And now I'm going to cut off the excess. So the less paper to rub off, the easier. So I'm just gonna cut off as much paper as I could. And it looks something like this. So it's kind of like laminated. And let's move on to the second part. So fingers crossed, hope this works. Now it's time to soak it into the water. Okay, and now I'm going to let it rest for like a few minutes. Okay, looking good. Now I'm just gonna flip it over and let's see if I can rub the paper off. I mean, this is a pretty big surface. I feel like it's gonna take a while. It's coming off. Oh my gosh, it's working! No need to hurry. I'm just gonna take my time and slowly rub it off. But you know what guys, this is like a workout. I wonder if there's like a more efficient way to do this without using your fingers. I don't want to use a sponge because I feel like that's going to ruin the image. So I'm like a third way there and it took me like 5 minutes. So this is going to take like 15 to 30 minutes depending on how clean you want it to look. So we're almost there. There's some left but it's looking really really nice. I'm so excited. But it's kind of hard to see but there's still a lot left. So I'm gonna take like another 10 minutes to slowly rub them all off. So back into the water you go.
And I think I'm done. I did kind of over rub some parts like right here and like right here. But other than that, I think it's a success. I love how the colors turned out really vibrant and it's just so pretty. I love it. And now I'm going to put this aside for it to dry. And once it dries, it's going to become tacky again and turn into a sticker. Oops. Oops. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, be right back. Okay, while we're waiting for the sticker to dry, let's move on to the next method. And it is to use a Xyron Create a Sticker Machine. Xyron makes like these best machines. And this was the biggest one I was able to find. Ooh, okay. It's actually pretty big. And what's good about going big is that you can always go small. So you can always make smaller stickers with this machine. But I mean, it's a pretty nice size. So how do you use this? Okay, okay, so it's already set. And all you have to do is place the design inside. So here is just a normal paper. So I'm just gonna slide this inside here. And I'm gonna twist it. <gasps> well, this is super easy. Rip it out. Wow, I'm impressed. Again, let me just like cut off the excess. And when you peel it, it magically turns into a sticker. <gasps> okay, so the adhesive is like pretty strong. So it's like really, really sticky. But I mean, it was super easy, super quick, and it turned out super nice. I love this machine. And it's actually really big, so I could go like a lot bigger than this. Okay, next I got something called the OHP film. So it kind of looks something like this. And it's basically transparent paper you can print at home. And it's quite interesting. So it's literally just like transparent paper and you can print on it, which I think is really interesting. So I just went to my printer and print it out and it looks something like this. Just a tip, you need to print it out really dark. I mean, I used the same color as this one and it turned out pretty sheer. I mean, I love how it turned out. Again, it's my first time doing this, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but fingers crossed. So here it is. And now I'm just gonna put it inside the sticker machine. Does it fit? It might be a little bit too big. Let me, come, let me cut it a little bit smaller. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to slide it in and twist. Ooh. And this is how it turned out. Oh my gosh, I think it worked. Peel it off. Oh. Oh my gosh, this might be like the best way to make transparent stickers. Okay, let me make one more. Again, I'm just gonna put it inside. So I think the design was a little bit too big and it didn't fit right in. So nothing really happened to this part, but other than that, I think it's a success. Look at this, it's so pretty. And here we have two pretty big stickers. If you guys are looking for like a sticker maker, I highly recommend Xyron. You can make like anything into a sticker. I would give this 10 out of 10. Okay, moving on. And lastly, I wanna show you guys how to make stickers the most professional way using a Cricut machine. So what's great about a Cricut machine is that you can cut it with clean lines. And that's what it makes it look really professional. And today we're going to be using these sticker sheets. And there's like a lot of different kinds of sticker sheets. Like for example, there's like matte white, glossy white, transparent, and even more. So today I have three kinds of sticker sheets. Which ones do you guys wanna see? I mean, transparent is always really pretty, but I do love these like glossy white. So yeah, glossy white it is. So how to use the Cricut machine. Open and power on. So now you need to open Cricut Design Space. You can just download it online. Okay, new project, and we need to upload the image. Upload image, drag, and I just always use complex. Continue, apply and continue, and I'm going to use the print then cut image. Upload, recent uploads, and add to canvas. It's so big. So here we can like change the size. You can change the size by dragging the corner like this, or, or you can type in the size that you want up right here. I think we can go a little bit more big. How about 16? Oops, project incompatible. Okay, I think 16 centimeters is a little bit too big, so how about 15.5? Okay, that's the biggest I can go. 
So now continue. If you've already printed it out, you just press right here. I've already printed, but I haven't yet, so I'm just gonna send it to printer. Ta-da! It kind of got messed up at the end, like right here, but you know, it doesn't really matter. And now we need a mat. I'm gonna peel it and stick it onto the sheet. I'm just gonna follow the image on the top left corner and set it in. Now back to the computer. We need to choose the base material and I'm gonna go with premium vinyl glossy. We're ready and go. Now we just wait. <gasps> Release. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's see how it turned out. And let's put this sheet on before it becomes dirty. And there we have it. And here you can just peel it. And as you can see, it has like the perfect cut. It looks super professional and I love it. And it's like kind of glossy. I can't believe I made this at home. So yeah, I'm super impressed. Obviously, you don't need a Cricut machine. There's so many other ways to make stickers, but if you ever want to make like a small business, I highly recommend. I love my Cricut machine. I use it all the time. And before I put this away, I want to try making like one big one, like the biggest it could go. reveal. Ta-da! So it has like really clean edge. Everything looks so perfect and I honestly really love it. And let me just like cut off the excess to make it look even prettier. I mean it's bigger than my hand. It's a pretty nice size. So I really really love how this one turned out but we can't forget. Let's go back to the super big sticker. It's been a few hours and now it's completely dry and it looks something like this. I love it! Isn't this like amazing? Like I said, you can see some parts like kind of like over rub. But other than that, I think it looks amazing. I think it'll make like a really cute wall sticker. I mean, I could put it on a car if I want to. I probably wouldn't. Maybe like on the laptop. Oh, how about like a suitcase? But yeah, I'm just really happy with how it turned out. So here's a phone case that I got a few days ago and I thought it would be really cute if I could like add a sticker right here. So here's the sticker that I made using the water method and now it's completely dry. Let me stick it on right here. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Hmm, I think I can make one like a little bit bigger. Since the ink is on the other side, it's completely waterproof. I love it. I think it'll also look cute with this one. Which one do you guys like more? So yeah, I think that's it guys. So today we made a lot of stickers and I think today was a complete success. I love the design. I love how it turned out. What do you guys think if I start selling them? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!